In my life, there have been three elements that make the strongest form of friendship. The first and easily most important is time. Something I freely shared this past weekend when my friends from Oregon visited. My best friend, James. He's been like a big brother to me ever since sophomore year of high school. And his wife, Alex, who in the short time I've known her has come to be a big sister for me. They live in Portland, so it's hard to see them sometimes. But when I go, I make sure to visit specifically to see Ben, their son, and Lorelai, Alex's daughter and James's adopted daughter. Every time I see them, wherever we are, the only thing that they ever ask of me is to share my time. It's something I can freely give, and it's the bedrock of building any relationship with someone. Every friendship starts with time. So it's important to share your time. Because we all only have so much to give before it runs out. Might as well be with a friend. So the next part of friendship is food. Because that's what most friendships are based around. Most relationships, actually. Even family and um, just everything. Culture. It's all based on food. So let's go get some, huh? It's funny how big of a role food plays in our lives. After playing at the park, we went to The Wall, which is a restaurant in the historic district of Orange. Uh, it's a place where Stephanie works. You can see her right there. Okay. All right, fair enough. Benjamin, what? do you want a quesadilla? Yes. All right, what cheese? Lorelai. What, yes, with cheese. That's, that's, that's the definition <laughs> of a quesadilla. With cheese. With beans. And with beans? Yeah. I don't think they have beans in it. Look at the fancy cheese. gold one. Yeah, Whoa. you can collect 50 of them. What? That, that's the hot ticket one. Uh-huh. What is that, Lorelai? Or do you want? It's a... The spinning thing. Spiral grass. Yeah, spiral grass. Yeah, <laughs> no, they do. When I'm talking about food in terms of friendship, I want to clarify that it doesn't matter what you eat, where you eat it, or when you eat it. It only matters with whom you're eating it. Really, the idea extends more to the thought of breaking bread together. Like that. That's happening. That is amazing. So if you come yeah. in a week, Hi. there'll probably be 20 different kids in there. Hi, Hi guys. Oh, so good to see you. Good to see you too. When I say break your bread, I really mean take off your mask. Because breaking bread with someone and, and eating is a very vulnerable thing. It's where you can really just be your true self. So break your bread. Be yourself with your friends, because true friends, that's all they want. <sighs> Man, it was really nice seeing James and Alex and the kids. It's been a while. Um, it was fun. Okay. Wait. <clears throat> this chair's fucking co uncomfortable. Let's see if I can make this a little bit better. Ooh. Ooh. That's nice. Ooh. I like, ha! ha! So we got time, we got food. There's a third one. This is very important too. They're all important. This one especially. This one is space. Not that space. This space. For this little bit, I went to the Seal Beach Christmas Parade with Will and Ara. Surprise, surprise, another Seal Beach bit. This one's nice though, so. Space in Seal Beach. Seal Beach is a special place for me. It's a place that I've grown up, I've gone to all my life. It's this small microcosm of good people and good food and everything that's good about living here. The annual Seal Beach Christmas Parade is one of those rare occasions where it really is a community coming together just for the joy of it. We're all sharing our space together. And that's what I mean when I talk about space. This is Will's space, 
but it's also mine. And Aura's. Being a good friend means sacrificing your space and sharing it with others. It's similar to time in that it's related to giving yourself over for someone else. But it's different in that time can be on the phone or messages or just your attention. Space is being there. It's standing next to them when they're happy or sad, when they're celebrating or mourning. It's a physical manifestation of your friendship and your love for each other as friends. Because you're there. You can be seen and, and touched and heard and smelled. But that only happens when you give your space. Giving your space costs you nothing, but helps build the foundations of friendship. All three of the elements that I've talked about tonight for friendship are reliant on each other. Share your time. Break your bread. Give your space. They seem like common sense, but for some people it's not so common. I've been lucky to have a large number of people that I can call my friends. Um, I know that for some people, friends are all they have. They don't really have a family. and. I might flip that and say I don't necessarily have friends. My friends are my family. They're there when I need their help, and I'm there when they need mine. We've walked so many different paths, but we all converge with each other. And I know I'll always have that with them. No matter where we are, what we're doing, or why we're doing it. We're doing it together. And that's what matters. We all come from different walks of life. Some of us need to lift each other up or to fight for one another. Sometimes it's just a smile. But sharing our time, breaking our bread, sharing our space is what makes us friends. And it's the best gift of all. Art. Well, that's all we have time for today. Um, this one was a fun one to shoot. Um, I hope it works out as well as I think it will. I hope you liked it. Like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Um, friendship is important. Like I said, friendship to me is family. So there is no real difference between the two. Hopefully, we're friends. That'd be nice to think of. Uh, if you've been following me for a while, thank you. If you're new to this, welcome. But um, as for this episode, the end.